Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Working on This Old Girl, Tierra Masu. Today is Monday, it's Maintenance Monday, and this old girl has got a problem. Her voltage regulators are shot. I've already replaced one, and on this episode, I'm going to attempt to replace the other much, much, much more difficult one. So, let's get to it, shall we? As you can probably hear in the background, uh, there is some uh, construction, worker, uh, construction work going on. Uh, for the surrounding buildings, they have a new owner, and he's all excited about uh, putting a new face <clears throat> on the buildings. So we'll have to deal with that uh, throughout today. So this is the new uh, Balmar regulator. It's an ARS5H. The H stands for the wiring harness that's included. And um, I have uh, already installed one of these, the easy one. Uh, this one is going to be on the port side engine and the alternator is to the outboard side so that's going to be uh, a lot more difficult. Before we take a look at the ridiculously small space that I have to contort my body into to replace this uh, voltage regulator I thought I'd give you a little bit of history on uh, what the problem actually is. So on the helm here we have the uh, volts uh, meters and when I would turn the engines on you know they would uh, come up to you know they'd be at 12 and then the charging system would come in to 14 and then it would start bouncing boom 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 and the engine would go rrr, 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 rrr. so uh, <clears throat> I knew I had an issue wasn't sure what the issue was so I uh, kind of uh, left it alone because uh, eventually the bouncing would go away and it would stay right you know at 13 some odd vol volts and then uh, the other day when I was changing the zincs on the engine I was running the engines uh, to uh, see if there was any leaks uh, at the zincs that I had installed and uh, one of the voltage regulars, the one on the starboard side, just started streaming smoke out of the top of it like a steam engine. It was uh, pretty amazing. And uh, so I shut it all down and uh, bought the new regulators. Uh, these regulators have been in this boat for 20 years. So they're time to go, uh, time, time to get changed. But uh, luckily the starboard side one is very easy to get to. The uh, alternator is on the inboard, uh, the inboard side, so it's right in the middle. And I'm able to get to the back of it just fine. So I was able to replace the wiring harness and mount the external voltage regulator. And uh, all that worked fine. Now, on the port side one, which is still working, uh, it is uh, going to be much more difficult. And I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so uh, here we are down here. Um, in the uh, engine bay, this being the um, starboard side engine, and there's the new regulator there, and it's got a new wiring harness. Comes down here to the alternator right here, and uh, that all got installed pretty easily, and uh, everything's good. However, on the port side. Here's the older uh, voltage regulator here and the alternator is down over here. And, uh, right there. And then of course I have to get to the back side of it and so that's really going to be a pain in the butt. Not sure how I'm going to do it yet. thinking of just trying to lay on the engine here and get down in here somehow to get uh, to the back side of the alternator 
but it's just really going to be a pain in the ass. I can't even stick my head in there. There's just there's just not enough room between this this guy here and this guy here. So, and this of course is my holding tank. So, I want to be careful of that. So, I'm going to give it a shot and see if I can get to those wires first. If I can't get to the wires, then there's just no point in going forward. So um, I'll probably have to call my trusty nephew Matt to see what he can do or what he thinks about getting in there to replace that thing. So, and the you know with one of the voltage regulators replaced, the the bouncing is still going on. Um, it's not as bad. Uh, but it's still there and um, it goes away you know after about 10 minutes of running the engines it goes away it's steady but um, I don't still want this other alternator or excuse me voltage regulator to go up in flames um, I was lucky to see the last one uh, that I was right there monitoring it so I don't want this one to go up so I'd like to replace it but it's going to be difficult. So let's try it. Let's see, what, see what I can do. Okay, so I found if I lay on my back down on that uh, gray grill uh, with my head, my face pointing up, I can reach one arm over and get to the wires on the back of the alternator um, over here. Uh, however, I can only get one arm in there, you know, so trying to put on new connectors uh, is going to be challenging so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there but I'm going to have to do a little contortion work here okay I've removed the um, voltage regulator it's laying down there um, the wiring harness on this end has been removed um, and all the clamps have been removed except for that one down there it had a stripped screw but I finally got it out so I can take the wiring harness off. Underneath the alternator there's a ground wire that is rusted on. So I need to use my impact wrench to, or tool to take it off. Hopefully I don't break the alternator in the process. <laughs> it's always something. This is the wiring I've uh, just installed. Um, you can see it's really, really tight. There's a negative terminal on the bottom of the alternator there. And uh, I had to make these wires extra long so I could reach over and actually put the butt connectors on. One's uh, constant power to the regulator. The other one's the ignition switch uh, that actually turns the regulator on. So <clears throat> the uh, regulator's dangling right here and I'll, uh, I'll mount it to the wall here after I'm all done. But while I'm in here, there's a couple of things I want to do. One is to spray WD-40 on that um, motor mount back there. I've never been able to get to it. So I don't know if you can see it. It's in there someplace. Anyways, I have to spray WD-40 on it. Um, try to protect it from rust. And uh, i got to tie wrap these uh, wires together and make them look nice. So I'm going to try that. The uh, regulator's in, the engines are running. Uh, you probably can't see it with this camera, but this is the uh, second regulator. And right there is where uh, the first regulator was streaming smoke out. And um, you can't see it with the camera, but right there it is burned on the second regulator as well. So it's, uh, it was ready to go. And I'm glad I've replaced both of them now. So let's take a look at the voltage meters. They're not bouncing. And uh, they are in bulk charge mode right now, I'm pretty sure. If I looked at the regulators, uh, they have a little LED that tells what mode they're in. And they're probably in bulk right now. So feel pretty good about it. I'm. Uh, Glad this is done. That was a pain in the butt, but I was uh, surprised that I could actually get in there and, it's, and cram myself in and 
actually get two arms over to the outboard side of the engine so I could actually put on butt connectors and do the uh, electrical connections that I had to do. That was uh, pretty surprising. So anyways, that's it, that's done. Um, I have a uh, little bit of a diving video that uh, I'm going to put on here from uh, this last Saturday, today's Monday. Uh, we went diving over Catalina and so I'm going to put that on here right now. So enjoy that and we will see you on the water. Remember to give me a uh, thumbs up if you like this video and uh, subscribe because i uh, got a couple more trips planned for the summer and looking forward to uh, actually putting them um, on YouTube. All right, see ya. Bye-bye.